Hey everyone, Brian Turner, CCS. We're here today with uh, Kevin Rath. Uh, Kevin's going to give us uh, a background of who he is, where he's from, and uh, what we're doing, we're continuing on with a series of uh, products that we use and recommend. Uh, and uh, so Kevin, first tell us, you know, where are you from? I, I live over near Schuyler, Nebraska, okay. and uh, travel, travel Nebraska, South Dakota, Kansas, down into Missouri and Southern Iowa a little bit. Uh, working with automated production systems and uh, we're, we come today to show you some information on a flex auger feed system motor so that's what we're here to talk about you know that's very cool because one of the things that we see in, in these barns it's it's something like a motor that's so critical in in keeping the whole thing working right absolutely uh, when especially if you're not in your barn every single day you got to have the equipment that you can depend on that's going to continue to run day after day and, and frankly without you having to worry about it. Well, so that's why we, we will think people should give consideration to, to buying you know an original equipment manufacturer product, something that's designed for that environment, not something that's off the shelf or, or uh, you know sometimes a few dollars seems like a big deal, but it costs something to go in there and fight off 250 pound animals while you're replacing a feed system motor. You know, that's, that doesn't come uh, without a price tag attached to it, so. That's great insight. So it, take us through, let's see what you got. You bet, you bet. This is a one horsepower flex auger feed system motor. And one of the things why we're starting this way, showing you the, the packaging, is that we think that's important for getting you the product in good shape so that it hasn't been beat up going down the road and get damaged. So. You know, uh, Kevin, I just wanna stop you. That's a great point because a lot of times when we get uh, equipment in, if we don't use an AP type product, uh, they will come out sometimes just like this and they will come in damaged. So anyway, go ahead. And that is one thing, you know, the packaging that you saw us take off there, that's a cost. There's something associated with that so that you can ship it to somebody and get it in good condition. So that's, that's absolutely an important characteristic that we see some competitive brands not do. So one of the other things we talk about is on these motors is having these, these bunny ears or hanging clips. Again, some, some of the alternative uh, motors out there do not have this type of hanging thing, so you're gonna have to wrap a chain or come up with some kind of, of methodology to support the back of this because the, the gearbox sits on this side and you'll be, you'll be hanging with a bunch of weight on the back side of it, uh, not providing the kind of support you need that you can get with this. Another feature that, that we've gone to through the years, it comes with this plastic cap attached to the back, but you can see it's got these flats on either side yeah. of the, the motor shaft. So if you've, if you've ever worked with these, you know that a gearbox attaches here and then a couple hundred foot of flexible auger beyond that. And when it comes time to trade this motor out or any component from here back, you can have torque on that flex auger. You know, it can be dangerous. It's because he gets all this, this uh, uh, basically a big slinky wound up and sure. it, it can be tight. So having the ability to put a wrench on here and get it to a place where there's not that tension on it is really critical. Several competitive brands just do it where they put a little slot in it for mm -hmm. a screwdriver head. Well, clearly a screwdriver head out the tail of this is not gonna be able to move it if you've got any real uh, tension on the system at all. So you folks can see how easy that is and I can tell you if you've ever installed one of these you will begin to appreciate both the way to be able to support it and also to be able to get it in the right place. Looks like a, a, a good engineer thought through this. You, well, think? you know, trial and error, people with challenges getting, <laughs> you know, getting yelled at maybe because it was too difficult. We think all those things, we try and listen to them as well as whenever you go through the engineering of this motor, to look at a motor, you know, we're just not gonna see those differences. But we went back to our manufacturer for, for the capacitors, for the start windings, made it a 50, 60 hertz, so it's, uh, it's interchangeable in different places around the world. And we think all those factors add up to make this uh, a, a motor that, that probably has a lot of advantages and, and is gonna last a long time in so your barn. Speaking of lasting a long time, uh, what, what, what kind of warranty. So if I had to replace one today, what kind of warranty do I get on a motor like this? Yeah. Our motor carries a two-year more oh. warranty on it. So okay. yeah, yeah. And that's all all we would need back in the event of failure is the motor tag itself. We don't want you shipping the 
whole thing across the country. So that's interesting. Yep, yep. If you get us the motor tag, you know, if you if you're, you're the farmer, you bring it back to central confinement, give them the motor tag, we'll get you a new one. And and uh, but we're hoping that doesn't happen very frequently either. So let's talk a little bit about the design. It's a slick design, as you as we were pointing out. Uh, now let's say I, I have it. I have one that uh, in a barn I built maybe 10 or 15 years ago. Can this retrofit up pretty easily to existing? Because assuming I have all AP equipment in, which is some of the better equipment that's out there, uh, I'll have all AP equipment in there. So I could just take this out, butt the new one right up to it. Probably not much fuss or anything. 100% interchangeable through the years. We 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 backwards engineer to make sure we're always compatible with previous models. So what what that really means is the fact that I can change these out in in very quickly without worrying about boy it won't mount up. I don't need a special mounting bracket because my barn is 10, 15, or 20 years old, right? Right, huh? right. That's outstanding. So what else? Is that about it? I think we've covered the points that I came to talk about, yeah, Brian. It is just a motor, right? It well. Is, but it is crucial. <laughs> that, that's, it's important to the system, yep. yep. Exactly. So. All right, well, Kevin, if I ever wanted to get a hold of you, how would I do that? You'd uh, reach out to me either at kevin.rath okay. at agcocorp.com or my phone number is 402-615-3535. Excellent. And it, you can also go through us and, and, and directly go in with Kevin, but like you heard Kevin, he gets around uh, out and about. So uh, let's get you on some AP product. And if you have any other questions, give either one of us a call, right, Kevin? Absolutely. Hey, thanks for coming by. Thank you.